Hey, this is Joanna with Adventures of Miss Peach, and I have another van haul for you guys. I have more supplies that I'm buying for the house, the tiny house. I went in for a few things, came out with more than a few things. So first of all, I have a composting toilet, and you put peat moss in the solids container because basically it's a urine diverter and then your solids go into a container and so you empty those separately and at different times and in the solids container you can either put like peat moss or like wood shavings or like coconut core etc so i think i'm I just put in my first batch of coconut core, which I actually used some of the bricks that I got from a Dollar Tree that could be used for planting. That's 100% coconut core, um, I believe, yes. And so I need to make some more, like rehydrate it and have a little extra and put it in my bathroom. And I got some scoops. I wanted clear scoops, but they only had colored scoops for right now. And I don't prefer this to be blue. I might actually, paint spray paint this whole thing white just so you can't see through it and have it in the corner and the bathroom but I can keep some extra coconut core in here so if I see that it's too liquidy and needs to help dry up even though in a composting toilet there is a fan always running to help dry out the solids but still I think I'm trying to find the right amount to put in there so I'm gonna have this so this was necessary this is pretty big it's like 12 cups and it's got little gripper handle so that's pretty cool and then this comes two to a pack so I could use one for this and one for a party or something like that all right I know I'm having um, a department get together in June when school finishes so I got these thinking those were kind of fun plastic cups 14 cups 16 fluid ounces and I made some of the Betty Crocker um, brownies the other day, and they were all right. I used the Dollar Tree pan. I'm actually going to post a video, if I haven't already posted it, on using almost all Dollar Tree stuff. They turned out okay. I'm not sure. There were so many different things. It was like a new oven, propane oven. It's new um, brownie pan. Um, I'm using... Betty Crocker, and I also did not put oil in it. I put applesauce. So they were pretty thin, kind of cakey-ish. Um, they were moist. They weren't dry, but they're not my favorite ones, and I'm trying to remember what my go-to used to be. But this is the only other one that I saw, this Pillsbury chocolate fudge brownie mix. So I'm going to keep this on hand for the next time I have people over. So we'll see how that one does. Put in the comments if you have opinions on the ones at Dollar Tree and also the ones that are anywhere else. I got, these are some of my favorite little snacks that at least have protein. There's 10 grams of protein in each bag. One serving per bag. 270 calories, harvest snaps. And I love tomato basil flavoring. It's really good. Then I knew that at some point I would make like sauce with meatballs and I figured I might needed might need some diced tomatoes and this can was so huge. It's 28 ounce um, and I like that it's made in the USA. It's in California and I bought two of these. Figured that was good for $1.25 California Healthy Harvest. Do you know of this brand? Roasted diced tomatoes. Let me know if you've used them before, but I figured that would be good to have in my pantry. Also, to organize my junk drawer and my utensil drawer, I got three of these because you could use this for arts and crafts and junk drawers too, not just to put utensils in. So I got three of these because um, I'm not sure if one of the drawers is big enough that it actually could fit two so i got an extra one just in case and um i still i've emptied like i've organized a lot but i still have organizational things that i need to do i got this multi -surf surface 30 wipes container which they're normal wipes that i buy are 30 wipes but this is peppermint sage and um 
peppermint sage cleaning wipes and it goes along with their whole line of spray cleaner and dish soap and uh, it's not open right now but I know that their cleaner that has this um, scent taste taste <laughs> I know it smells really good and people have been talking about this so I've bought two of these because I love cleaner wipes so um then I needed some um, distilled vinegar for in my pantry, so I just went ahead and got that. This is Old Style Distilled Vinegar, 32 fluid ounces. It's made in Wisconsin. I'm starting to pay attention a little more after I saw a video about Walmart and stuff used to be made in the U.S. and now it's coming from China and it, I don't know, had all kinds of things on there um, that did not make me happy. I got this phone, the selfie light for smartphones. They had it in a couple different colors. I got it in black. And I thought this looked fun. Take high quality photos with great lighting everywhere you go. For a buck 25? Come on. Let's try that. All right. I this is the first time other than the one place that I've seen this Sol de Janeiro um, dupe. And um, I've never actually bought that, but other people have told me it does smell. This does smell like it. And um, I bought a few of these at another store because I was shocked I found them. And these were at, I actually bought three. I bought three because I might give some away. I just wanted some for gifts. Anyway, I do like how it smells. I got one for my niece and then two for myself. But this time I got three and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, I might do some giveaways. Do you want a giveaway? If so, leave me a comment. Because if that can help my channel, then yes. Definitely want to do that. All right. I mean, since I never see those, I knew I better go ahead and scoop them up. All right. I ripped my fingernail, like, back past, you know, where it should be. And so, I put super glue on it. And the band-aids that I normally use are not great for getting wet. So, I got some of these flexible fabric ones. I think they'll do better, I hope. Then, everybody's talked about this Odo Ban Eliminates Odor Disinfectant Fabric Air Freshener. You know, I'm doing thumbnails when I smile, right? <laughs> anyway, I got this. I thought it'd be good to have on hand. I got an Ortega Fajita um, Mix. Right? Fajita Seasoning Mix. And then these are kind of my sweets for the week. I got the Brookside Chocolate Dupes again. Got this and this. And Waffle Bites. I love these. I love these. And I've never tried these. So, got those. Tried not to be too bad have a few, you know, at night or whatever. Let's see. Oh, okay. I do not have a set of flatware because when I travel cross country in my camper van, I had miscellaneous leftovers from when my kids lived with me and things got lost and I had my original wedding flatware and a replacement flatware mix. And I've basically over the last three years use plastic wear and they've had these sets of three down on the bottom over by the kitchen stuff for a long time and I keep hearing that there are sets of four that are hung up so I've been waiting because I'm cheap and I'm like I'm gonna wait till I find them hanging up and I have another one for my buck 25 but I haven't found them so I just decided to bite the bullet and of course I want a serving set of four because I don't really I'm I mean, it'd be nice to have six. It's fine. But I mean, I don't I only have four plates of what I have right now. But anyway, I kind of, they had a plain one, but I kind of liked this with the little dots because I kind of have a theme of different things with the little dots throughout the house. So I got two sets of the knives. I got two sets of the forks. Goodness. Okay. And then two sets of the large spoons. And then the small spoons did not have my kind. So look, I can't make this look beautiful. 
But then I got only one set of this because they just had this plain one, which I like, but I wanted it to match. So I figured I would just have small ones just for right now to make sure I have some. I do have a few miscellaneous ones. And when I find the ones that go with this, I'll get those. So basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times a dollar twenty-five. That's seven dollars eight seventy-five. So for nine dollars, I got all of those. They don't feel lumpy. They don't feel cheap. They feel fine to me. I'm just not gonna get hung up on that. I had to get some thumbtacks. I can always use them at school, but I actually needed them for my, um, I have one of the, what do you call them? Paper shades. And it's just got a, an adhesive up on top and it keeps coming undone. And so I'm just gonna tack it in to stay there because I think because I have the window open some, I think the moisture or who knows, I don't know, it's causing it, it's causing it to start coming undone and it's come undone like three times. So I figure I needed to have some flat ones of these, not the push pins. So I bought those. And then I got this because I have two blush um, brushes that I use and, um, I wanted to have some silicone type thing like this that's rough that I could use to clean the um, brushes on. So there had some other small things. This is a body scrubber, but I figured it's gonna be great to clean my makeup brushes on. And then last but not least, cuticle remover. Hold on, there we go. I have never ever used a cuticle remover. This says Be Pure Cuticle Remover with Aloe Vera gently removes overgrown cuticles. Does this work? I figured it doesn't hurt to try, but I'll try things for $1.25, but I don't like to invest in like stuff like that if I don't know. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Um, for my van haul and if you haven't subscribed and become part of the peach pack please subscribe throw a comment and a like on the video and hit the notification bell to be notified for future videos thanks for joining me today i hope you have a great day live intentionally and be blessed bye